the writing phase was really like doing an album first, you know, rather than trying to write a book, write it, write the, you know, the, the story and then go, okay, now let's go back and fill in some songs. We really wanted to go back to the traditional musical that was like all about the songs. I had a studio in my house at the time and we just hang out there for days at a time and come out with a song or two. Just being able to sit around in a band setup, which is kind of how we did a lot of the songs, which was Trey on mic, me on drums, Bobby on piano, and hit record and start screwing around and throwing out lyrics and stuff. We'd sit there and play around with things and multi-track and do all the voices just like South Park, you know, and there's whole demo tracks of me being like all the Africans and everything and like trying parts out and singing them and then we'd add the music to them. And so it really was creating an album really for the first two or three years. The Book of Mormon, it's been such a fertile creative ground to be on, you know. Bobby and I had worked on Avenue Q together so we had a kind of common language. But it was really cool actually building that uh, that collaboration with uh, with Matt and Trey and Matt is like so amazing rhythmically. I had never seen Trey play the piano. Music's always been my first passion and then I've just for whatever reason been into comedy as well and then all the other things that have come, animation, movies, television, whatever it is, it, music's always been first to me. Everything they write is a musical really. They were musical South Park episodes and the movie has tons of music obviously. Oscar nominated song. Was it Blame Canada or Uncle Fucker? Blame Canada. I actually started off in high school writing funny songs. That was my whole thing, um, was because um, I was a piano player and I always want, I always wrote funny songs, really since I saw Spinal Tap. Like that was my big influence for wanting to go that direction. And so that's why when we were in college and we we're like, let's make a movie, I was like, okay, I want to make it a musical and wrote songs for that. And then the South Park movie came, I was like, okay, I want to make a musical, wrote songs for that. So we've always been trying to do this for a long time. It's just that it's a long process.